Welcome my friends, my name is Irvin, also known as Koboman. In today's video, I will show you how to update BIOS on HP computers. Whether it's a desktop or a laptop, the method is very similar or identical. This also can be used as a learning tool for other types of computers, name brands, or specific aftermarket motherboards. It's very important that you watch the whole video because there are a lot of issues that you may come across that I explain and I also explain to you how everything is done step by step. Very useful for desktop support or tech support in general. So the first thing we got to do is find our BIOS. We got to get the new version of BIOS so we can simply search for that by going to the internet and just search for our, your specific model, whether it's a model of a desktop, laptop, or motherboard, simply type it in. In my case, it's HP 800 G2, and I'm just gonna type in BIOS behind that. This should give me results. And sure enough, the top result talks about BIOS for my specific computer. Once you select that link, typically what you see on any manufacturer website is that you will get a list of all kinds of drivers for all the peripherals that are on your computer. For example, audio, graphics card, networks card, storage, and such. However, we want to concentrate on a specific menu here, and that is BIOS. If we click on that and expand it, we do have a download button. We can simply click download, which we will do, Select download and we're going to click save. This will save the package of the BIOS onto our local computer. That is very straightforward, but let me just go back here and just tell you about something very specific that could be an issue for you if you come across it. It's pretty rare, but it may happen to you. Sometimes you have to update previous version of the BIOS in order to install the most recent one. So basically what happens is you try to install, uh, let's say in this case, version 02.37 version A, you may get an error that says, nope, you cannot install this until you install a previous version. And here is a link for the previous version right underneath it. If you click that, it may say you need to install, for example, version 02.3 zero revision a before you can install for example 0 0.37 so in the nutshell just kind of be on the lookout for that error and if you do get it this is what you have to do and this is where you find the previous versions okay so let's go ahead and open the folder where we downloaded our package copy it to my desktop just so i can have it here separated from everything else and you can see that this is a Microsoft packaged type of executable. We're going to run that here. And this is certainly one way of doing it. So if you go here, this is going to unpack it into C, SW setup, and then backslash SP94599 folder. So once we do that, it's just going to unpack it and it may start to install it from here which is certainly doable. So this thing that came up is basically some update and recovery instructions that you can use. You can also do it from here, which gives us instructions on how to do it. Once we are in a start menu, we're gonna hit F10 to set up BIOS flashing. And then I'm going to actually show you this with an external camera that will record all of my steps externally so you guys can see it. So. Let's look at our unpacked BIOS. So let's see here, it's in the C and it's SW setup and then SP9495999. So here is our flash files. And inside we have a folder called HP BIOS update REC. So we're going to go inside of that and here we have an executable that we can run. So let's see what the, um, you know, what that does for us. So once we initialize this, uh, what it's going to do is 
going to look for the specific bio settings there on your computer and then it's going to check to see if the password is set on the bios and if it's not it's going to deny you installing of this bios so let's go ahead and run this i'm going to run this from the windows and again i will show you how to do it from the bios itself so we're going to we can try to do it from here so we can simply click next and our other option is to create a recovery usb flash which is what i wanted to do and uh, that's another way of doing it or you can simply copy bios update file to any file location or create a backup of the current bios to any file location so let's go ahead and create a backup just so we have it and it's going to create a backup of it within the same folder so this is a really good thing to do first just to make sure that you do have a copy of the bios just in case you have to revert back to the older version which a lot of times is not even possible but uh, hp has created this um, utility that allows you to do so which is not the case in most of the bios that you update on motherboards or some other brands of computers <clears throat> so now we have current bios was saved successfully we're going to finish that and this is actually really simple so i don't want you to be kind of turned off by so many steps and it's very good to learn especially if you're doing desktop support you know this might be something you do so let's go ahead and try to update it from here and then we're going to do create recovery usb flash as well so once we click on the update we get this warning it says your current intel active management technology firmware is affected by critical security vulnerability please update the firmware or implement mitigations immediately so if you click ok it kind of talks about what this is and it's uh intel active management technology it's a uh, something that prevents or controls remote privileges for that computer so you know this should be fixed with the bios update if not then we can just ignore it for now and if uh, you know if you're just uh, using it as a personal computer which i am then you don't have to worry about that per se so we're just going to go move on here is an example of what i was telling you about the bios version my current bios version is 2.15 and the one that we're trying to install is 2.37 we're going to click next it's going to create a backup once more of our current bios and then it's going to proceed or at least attempt to install bios through the windows and after which we would simply reboot the system and that bios update would be complete that's in the perfect case scenario this is not necessarily you'd be that you'd be able to do in a business environment but that's okay again i will show you how to do it manually with a thumb drive so now it has prepared it now when we click restart it's going to install it basically so we're going to restart it and uh, for that i'm going to bring an external camera so we can see what happens so here we go restart has started now we're going to see what happens after we did that and we're certainly going to check the version that it should be which i believe is 2.37 so now it gives us a couple of different options here it gives us an option to update BIOS to 2.37, postpone update, or cancel update. So we're going to go ahead and update it. I'll go ahead and hit enter on that. And as you can see, it is commencing the update. It says do not shut down or remove external power from your computer during this process. Chances are that your aftermarket motherboards will have a system or utility that will allow a BIOS update just like so. You may not even 
have to do it in such way but it will basically involve the same thing where it would it would install it and then reboot and then you'd be pretty much done now it's basically just asking to reboot and there's a countdown so I'm just gonna let it do so in three seconds two one zero oh that's not good see I think I broke my computer after it made those horrible beeps the computer was shut down and I had to manually turn it on. It turned itself off again and now it's rebooting after you saw that message that it says it was finalizing. So that took about I want to say 15 to 20 seconds after for the uh, finalizing of the BIOS update. Of course we can confirm whether this actually happened and I will bring I will record that on screen just so you can see so with the update completed we can double check to see if indeed it worked and there are a couple of ways of doing it you can initiate this executable once more I'm sorry this is the package but the executable that we looked at earlier and it will tell you the current version of the BIOS that's on the system. So if we go back to C, SW setup, SP, HP BIOS, run this again, it will show you what the current version is. But you can also do it with just going into your search bar and just type in system, <coughs> system information, open that up. And where it says BIOS version, it says here that we have version 2.37 that was last created or updated on January 2nd, 2019, which is a little bit more than two months ago. Okay, now let me show you how to manually get into the BIOS update. So with our USB drive plugged in here under F, what we can do is run that executable once more. We're gonna go inside of C, SW setup, SP94599 and HP BIOS update folder. We're going to run that executable again. And as soon as it comes up, there it is. We're going to create a recovery USB flash. This will create a copy of our BIOS. Make sure you have the correct drive connected. And now it's copying files and it's going to put it inside of a folder called Hewlett Packard, I believe that's what it said. And here's a little notification which says to recover a device with a flash drive, please follow these instructions. Insert the flash drive into USB power on device. You may restart up to three times, which we will do. Now let's just double check to see where it's at. Before we get to that, USB drive Hewlett Packard. Now, here's a pro tip. If you go inside a BIOS update folder here, it says it's empty, right? But that doesn't make sense much. But if you go into the BIOS folder and look at current, it actually will show you the current one, which is 2.15, but it will also show you the update file for the most recent one, which is 2.37. So sometimes the BIOS, once you go inside a BIOS, and I'll show you that in a minute, to update it manually, it will just say, I can't find these. So what you have to do is actually go back here and go back inside of BIOS and where it says new and previous, you, you should copy them. You should copy those files that I showed you accordingly. So you can see that it's empty. The new one and the previous one is empty. So we're going to put them inside of that. I'm surprised that HP, in our case, didn't do that. So I know this is the old one, 2.15. So we're going to go back here, and that's going to be the previous one. We're going to put it in there. We're going to make a copy of it. Because the BIOS thinks it's there a lot of times. So that's a pro tip right there. So, and then I'm going to make a copy of this one. Make a copy of this one, which is 2.37. This is something else that I'm copying over, so you can ignore that. So 
and I'm going to put that into the new. It's going to copy it over real quick. And there it is. So now BIOS will know exactly what to look for. We have previous. Oh, <laughs> where did it go? We have new and then we have previous. Where did I put the previous one? Okay, well, let's go back here. Here's the previous one. Copy. BIOS. Previous. Okay. Copy it over. There it is. Okay, now we have previous and new installed, which is something you shouldn't have to do. But if you get an error where it says, I can't find it, it's not there, not located, this is what you have to do to fix uh, that. Okay, let's move on to the manual BIOS update procedure. You may have to press a different key combination to get to the BIOS boot menu, but it should be the escape key. And if you remember our instructions that popped up when we downloaded BIOS, it said to hit F10. I'm going to go down so you can see which menu we need, and it says BIOS setup. So in the main menu, this is how it was. We need to move one, two down where it says update system BIOS. And as we have a copy of the BIOS, of the new BIOS on the USB drive that's plugged in right now, we can go here, we can go down here and select update BIOS using local media. So if we hit enter, it's going to give us options to do so. But since we've already done it, the only option that's given us is to roll back the previous version, which is 2.15 as indicated. Otherwise, it would just give us an option to update to the newest version, which would then we would simply select it on our USB external storage, which is very self-explanatory. All right, my friends, I really hope that this video helps you, whether you're doing it for your personal computer or you need to learn something like this as a desktop or tech support person. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them. This is what I'm here for, and I'm here to help you out with any questions that you may have. If you like this video, please share it with your friends, select the like button, or subscribe. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Bye-bye.